most energy efficient building uh, was built to show the contrast between the standard or typically built home and the focus was on using material that's environmentally safe and also to keep any draft or as much draft as possible out. And so what we've done is we've had a company come in and, and spray foam the bottom of our roof deck, which what that does is that en encapsulates our uh, heating and air system. And so it keeps that in, in basically a conditioned space in a sense, and it keeps it in our building envelope. And so with the spray foam, you have a sealed uh, roof deck. So here, your attic might be 80 degrees at the most. We're using a solar tube in this room here, which doesn't have any windows. And this solar tube uses natural light that is reflected from the outside and comes down through a mirrored duct that comes into this room. Well, this is a uh, Carrier Infinity, which is a very high efficient, it's a 96.5 efficient furnace. Uh, it's a gas furnace. And what it does is it just, it burns and kind of retains the heat as much as possible. Older furnaces are less efficient, but this furnace is so sealed tight and uses some great technology. It's important because money's tight for everybody and um, I think that it would be a great way to save money. The energy efficiency is more eco-friendly, so I think it's a great idea. So the shingles that we've used for our energy efficient house are actually an Energy Star shingle. So you kind of get credit on that in points when you're building this type of house. And the Energy Star shingle has reflective granulars on them. They actually help reflect the sunlight and keep that solar gain, that radiation that comes through your roof, kind of bounces that back off your roof, actually helps lower the temperature in your roof as well as just lasting a lot longer. So what we have in this house is a sealed crawl space. This is using a thick vapor barrier. It's a plastic that wraps up the walls, it wraps around the columns and the piers, and of course along the floor of it. And it essentially creates this vapor barrier down there that, you know, I mean, you could basically live down there because there is a dehumidifier that removes all of the moisture out of the air. By doing this, you keep a lot of the nasty, moldy conditions of your crawl space from actually uh, you know, coming up through the floor and into your livable space and just creating a better overall air quality inside your house. It's good for the economy. It saves energy, uh, not only for yourself, but also for, you know, the community.